Hello guys and welcome back to another Neko Kawaii unboxing video. Today we have the, I'm not sure if I should call this the August 30 Days of Candy box or if I should just say this is box 2 of the 30 Days of Candy uh, line. Because I believe this started 3 months ago and this is my second box. I was trying to look up before how to tell if this is the current box or if this is just box two and there's a box three but I I think there are just two boxes out at the moment so this is the second box of the 30 days of candy dot com line uh, last month's box was red and this one's box is blue I really like that they're doing like color coded boxes. Um, I'm excited about next month's box. I wonder what color it was going to be and I wonder what the theme is going to be. I really liked uh, when they did last month's box because it was 30 days of candy from like all around the world. And then this month's theme is like from Sassafras to Triacle or something like that. And um the pictures they had on the little large cutout thingy were pretty big and uh... recognized a couple of them so they're i'm excited to see what kind of flavors this has in this month's box as a forewarning uh... my last month's box was almost thirty minutes i'm gonna try my best to shorten this and just do a name maybe a quick description and I'll try I'll try to keep it short but warning it could be this video could be 30 minutes and I apologize if it does get really long okay okay I'm excited open the box and like last month there's the words up here in different languages for candy okay here's the the very long thing just as long as the box and the theme is from durian to triacle and romane to sassafras and like I said I recognize a couple of these things like coffee and pickle uh, coconut perhaps and I see romane and it looks like a peanut and peppers a lot of it I don't know what it is it looks vaguely familiar but I probably haven't had it before and then on the other side of oh, upside down is oh is this the next the candy of our grandparents and great grandparents oh my god that sounds awesome 30 candies that are good enough to have stood the test of time for at least 80 years or longer wow I wonder if my granny would recognize this stuff. I can't really ask my mom since she passed away a couple of years ago, but um, it would be really interesting to see if my granny could recognize uh, next month's box of goodies. So that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. I'm going to put this to the side. Uh, push this back. Okay, and here we go. And the first thing is a barberry. And here's what they look like. It looks like it has um like a saying on it as well, but again I won't I won't focus too long. This one is sesame. Like sesame seeds? That's pretty cool. And here's what they look like. That looks really weird. Hmm. And the next one is coconut and ginger. And here's what they look like. Oh, they're a cool little green package. They say coconut ginger candy on them. That's pretty cool. The next one is matcha. I'm very used to matcha. Matcha is a green tea flavor from Japan. These candies say right 
rabbit matcha creamy candy. Last month we also got something from the white rabbit company. I don't believe it was the matcha thing. It was something like a milk chocolate. The next one is oop, Romney. Oh, and I recognize these little packages. I've had these a bunch and I get these little small packages from other boxes as well and they come in like all sorts of flavors you can get melon strawberry peach mango they're just there are all sorts of flavors and the next one is sassafras it, when I was younger I used to say sassafras all the time it was like my showstopper like even if it had nothing to do I would just be like sassafras so it's kind of weird to know this is like a flavor of candy they kind of look like jelly beans just for fun name that candy hmm it doesn't look familiar answer is every other letter Oh, I would have to decrypt that <laughs> I might put it later on what that is on the back the next thing is oh this is an extra double salted licorice oh my god we got licorice in last month's box and we didn't enjoy it at all at least it's Oh, I guess these are all name that candy type things. That's kind of cool. They say DZ on them. That's that's odd. And the next thing is Chinese Hawthorn. Do they come in cans? Oh my god, that's so cool. They look, they actually look like like little bitty cans. That is awesome. Oop, extreme sour. I hate warheads. And I hate warheads for the same reason that I do not like sour things. I do not like sour anything. I mean, I like some tangy stuff, but not sour. So, oh my god. This is toxic waste. I am so scared. And I bet my friend Devin is going to try one of the toxic waste ones and she ain't going to even be affected. Because she never seems to be affected by sour candy like me or my brother are. The next one is called, well, is cornstarch. I guess it involves cornstarch. They sound... And I love that color. I guess it matches the colors right here. Do these candies have sprinkles in them? Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Look at them. And they're pretty big too. They sound like maracas. The next one is chili powder and peanut butter? Really? This is, this is a strange and fun flavor combination, and I'm like, it's just strange. Oh. I like, um, Hot Cheetos, and Hot Cheetos have chili powder on them, so perhaps this will be good? I'm, I'm severely skeptical right now, and I'm sort of scared. But, um, that will definitely be interesting to try. The next one is tamarind. They are some sort of peanut. They are called gulia. Did I say that right? Gul gulas. Gulas. Never mind. Not gulia. Gulas. There are several in here. I really like how generous the 30 Days of Candy people are because they tend to give you a lot and others would just give you like two so I really like that about them coffee 
more coffee than I can handle. This kind of looks like several different types of candy. Coffee candy, I mean. Hmm. I'm not a really big fan of coffee either, but I still think it's cool to try. Now, if it was like frappuccino flavored, then I'd be I'd be all up on that. The next one is very rainbowy. Saltwater taffy. Oh, I love taffy. I love saltwater taffy. Taffy is amazing. I have a candy bowl over there. I love taffy so much. It is amazing. It looks like you get some good flavors too. So I'm excited for that. It looks like I'm going to run out of room in a minute. So let me push these back a little further. There. I've got a good amount of space now. The next one is Triacle. Any fan of Harry Potter knows that two of his favorite treats are Triacle Pudding and Triacle Tarts. Really? <laughs> I, I'm a fan of Harry Potter, but is that in the movies or is that just in the book? Because I've only read one of the books and it was like in sixth grade. And I barely remember anything about it. I feel like 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 a poser. Like I'm not really a fan because I didn't read the books. But this is what they look like. They look pretty good. I'm excited to try that. And the next one is lychee and musket. I've had um this flavor before in like this kind of form, the soft chewy little bitty candy form. So, oh, what did I tell you? They're the same thing, but these, they're different flavors. Oh, I called it. And I'm not mad about it either because it's cool. And I like them, so no reason to be mad. And the next thing is clove. They kind of look like round peppermints. And kind of like uh, beach balls. I like it. I like their shape. The next one is chamoy. This is a unique Mexican flavor, it would seem. I'm expecting something spicy. Definitely are very red and vivid colors. So, it looks spicy. The next one is black currant and licorice. Another licorice, like that one right there. But this one looks very different. Oh, this one is a uniquely British flavor combination. So British. And they're hard candies, so that's different. The next one is Dolce de Luch. Leche, leche. And that's caramel, isn't it? Translated as sweet made of milk. Hmm. Made of milk. Oh, okay. I like, they look caramel, so, and I like caramel, so, I'm definitely interested. The next thing is milky. Didn't we get these last month? I think we got these last month as well. Uh, I think we like them. I can't remember. 
But that is also another kind of like Japanese thing. Ooh, dill pickle. I don't like pickles. I hate pickles. Pickles are, they smell f funny and they don't, they don't taste very good, at least not to me. But I know my friend Devin likes pickles, so she will definitely enjoy it. And I'm not saying that I won't try it, it's just I'm not going to be happy about it. Because I know straight up right away that I don't like pickle. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I like pickle candy better than actual pickles, and I would be fine with that. The next thing is pear and plum. They look... They look delicious. And here's two different types of candy. One has the pear on it and one has the plum on it. That looks good. The next one is durian. I like when I pull out the ones that are on like the little long thingy. So this one is king of fruits. So durian is the king of fruits. That's that's interesting. And look, they're so generous. There's seven in here. Seven. And I only need three to be to be fair with like my brother and my roommate Devin. The next one is Anise. I like how it looks like uh, like a uh, petals and like a flower. It looks spicy. Oh, it does say spice. Hmm. Oh my, they are super red. That's gonna be a sense fire. Who knows? We have one row left, and the next one is. Whorehound. And if I'm saying that wrong, that is what it says. Ah, it's a medical herb. That's that's interesting. That's something I didn't know. They kind of look like licorice as well. Okay, the next one is... Burnt goat's milk. Burnt goat's milk. Disappointingly, there's only two. But they're really big. So it's... So I keep wondering if this is like pudding. It's... Oh, it's just pudding-like. Pudding-like. It kind of looks like pudding. Like caramel or maybe chocolate pudding. This has a very weird name, burnt goat milk. It just sounds so odd. We only have a couple more left. The next one is cinnamon. A very well-known flavor. Little cinnamon candies. Oh my god, cinnamon Jolly Ranchers? I didn't even know they made cinnamon Jolly Ranchers. Like, there are Jolly Ranchers in here, and then there's one that has... That says Niki Ame on it, which I thought was... Diary. At least I thought that's what Niki meant. Perhaps it has two meanings. The next one is... Jujube or Jujube. Oh, okay, I remember these. They're kind of like dots. Well, never mind. They look like they're coated with white marshmallow. They do feel gummy. And they each have their own package, okay. I thought maybe they were just floating in there for a minute. I thought uh, I like their name, GGB. GGBs. That sounds like an old cartoon. Like a candy they'd use in one of those old cartoons. The next one is mint julep and banana split. 
They look interesting. They certainly look cool. I definitely like mint and banana split, but I'm not exactly sure what the julep part is. And the last one is grapefruit. It feels very soft, very soft and squishy. Well, that was all of them. This video is still going to be pretty long. I think we're coming up on about 23 minutes. It's a little shorter than last time, but not really. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day. Bye.